We got it. Israel using his soul bomb though. And we died. <laughs> no! I can't restart the game. Oh no! Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Brave Soul video and today we have a special secret technique for you lads. You might be struggling in PvP. You might be one of those lads out there that are struggling to get to third seat. You might be even one of those lads that want to push the head captain and you don't have the good enough characters or dupes in your characters or even accessories to do that or even amount of orbs to do that because sometimes it takes a lot of orbs to get into head captain. That being said though lads, this is a secret technique, the first on YouTube I believe, on how to beat any team in the game, even ones with Drugum, because Drugum is still a problem, even six months later. So the secret technique to PvP is, unfortunately, for the unlucky lads out there, is to get your hands on this Rukia. Adult, Thousand Year Blood War, Bankai Rukia. Yes, she is the secret OP character in PvP, and you might be wondering how. Well, she currently has a very rare, unique ability to not die. So what do you mean by that? Well, we're about to showcase that. So firstly, before we actually do get into the run, let's quickly showcase the characters that we are using. So Rukia, all she needs is a last ditch link and she's there <laughs> she's fine uh with the masaki we have her just on the side just to basically die that's why we have a last ditch link right there and then we have two dr links right there and then we've just given a random ass accessories that i could even put onto her so 15 attack there just random defense it doesn't really matter too much and then we have token now too with basically with some attack accessories and then again the same kind of build two drs and a last ditch there you go that's exactly how you're gonna win so how do you win we're well, about to showcase the two lads right now i'm not going to explain how it's happening but you're about to see it first hand let's go against farewell let's see exactly how we're going to smash this team guaranteed w's boys guaranteed w's let's find out how we're going to be here so who are we going against no drugum so it's an easy w right so this is how the team works <laughs> rookie is dead all right there you go that's what we want then the masaki i think she's died I've maybe yeah now they're all dead and now they're just going to the middle <laughs> They're just going to focus on the... And then we're just going to slowly chip away the HP. Now, damn, we are doing very little damage. But, lads, it is working, right? It is working. The Arskin's gone down. Masaki OP, boys. <laughs> does she do anything on ultimate? I don't think she does. There we go. We're just going to sit there and slowly chip away at the HP. The chat is slowly going down. Chad's down. Now it's only Kenpachi. Ken Kenny can't handle the hack. <laughs> we'll use this over again. Kenny can't handle the op -ness of the rookie and there you go rookie carried our team by staying dead but also at the same time somehow was alive well loki this is a glimpse of what thousand year blood war jushiro might eventually look like he's dead but alive at the same time how about that so now let's go against haru well this person has Drugum, so it might be a different story. Maybe we're going to lose, because Drugum can still be a problem to this team, because he does have the counter ability, where even though he's not doing damage to us, we're still hurting ourselves just by hitting him. So, again, there goes the Rukia. Then the Masaki's about to die. There we go, and Nozo Stoltenkin did die. And now we're just slowly chipping away at the character's HP, but unfortunately... Oh, is it, is it going to work? Is it going to work? Who's going to win? Oi, there we go, lads. <laughs> So I just wanted to showcase those two characters, the Masaki and the Tokyo Rider. It's a bit hit or miss because again, the Drugum can still mess up your day, especially if you're doing a lot of damage, then you're doing damage back. So what I'm going to do is quickly switch back to my other team, but still keep the secret OP technique that Rukia brings to the new meta. All right, boys. So we now changed our team. So let me quickly go special. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with that. This is basically a guaranteed dub on any team, like no matter what. So again, Rukia's going with the last ditch strat. Then we have Chad, who I basically changed up his build. He's still rocking full defense, like he's not going to die whatsoever. But if he does, he's going to revive thanks to that last ditch link. And then we didn't, we didn't, we're not giving him DR links. Just keep in mind, we're not giving him DR links, right? We're making sure he can somehow still die. And to do that, we're giving him just no attack links. Drugum is going to be invincible for 10 seconds. So again, I'm just giving him like a full NAD build. And again, a similar situation, we're giving him NAD links. Oh, I, actually, let me change that real quick. Yeah, so now we've changed it. So we're giving him full night with 80 last stage and also 12 DR. This team right here is unstoppable, lads. So here we go. A 3,533 attack Drugum. Let's go against it. Ibarra. Let's see how he, if they can handle the Rukia strategy. <laughs> mm. All right. So they have Drugum themselves. Max Transcended. Okay. And a Max Transcended Kenny. And it, what is this team? So there goes Drugum. Uh, there goes the Rukia, sorry. Chad's going to revive. They're all focused on Drugum right now. Not what, exactly what we want to see, but Drugum might eventually go down. They take the sword bomb. Chad uses it. Are we winning? I think we're winning. <laughs> we are winning. <laughs> we won, but we didn't get to use the Rukia strategy. You can see Rukia is just sitting there in the back. Um, it it, it kind of worked. I think Drugum is kind of a character that is too OP for this strategy. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to change Drugum 
uh, for, where is he? Kenny. I want to put Kenny on because he doesn't have any invincibility, right? There we go. Let's go with that. So there we go. This might work. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to go against, again, their Drugum. Because, again, we do take damage by hitting Drugum. So there we go. 3,780 attack. It's it's fairly high, right? Maybe he's got some transcendence into him. Let's go into it. Let's try again and see if this strategy does work once more. Because it guaranteed to work. All right, so they got a fairly average or good PvP team. We got Drugum on the, in the middle. That, that's a, that's what we like to see. Then we got, okay, Ruki is down. That's good. They got Ichibei. Ichibei should be clapping our Chad's cheeks unless we, for some reason, paralyze him, which actually we can't do. So, so far, so good. Ah, oh, Kenny, unfortunately, died. So we didn't actually get the last ditch. That's a very unfortunate. There, Drugum then uses the ult. They're just not killing my Chad. This is, <laughs> it's going right but wrong at the same time. <laughs> Okay. All oh, right, we're going against Arskin and Nikaku. Ikaku can be a threat if built right. So I'm actually kind of curious on how this is going to play out. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, he's still killed. Come on. Who's Ikaku? Who's Ikaku is this? Come on. And there we go, lads. <laughs> that is how it's done. Oh, okay. We lost. <laughs> no. All right. Well, this, this is the bad thing about this team. So let me explain what's happening. Apparently in the game right now, it is glitched where if Rukia dies, she stays dead. And she won't revive with the last ditch. But at the same time, the AI will think she's alive. So they're going to focus on her. Not use their soul bomb. Actually, because they're not even trying to collect it. They won't even use it. And they won't even try and collect it. They're just going to stay on that character. And the only time they're going to use a strong attack is if they're going to go and collect a soul bomb. So... If, if you go against a team that isn't Drugum with this kind of strategy, it will work. Because you saw it in the past, it will work. But at the same time, there's always the possibility where, you know, you just die because Drugum's invincibility is mad annoying. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to quit the game right here because we have lost. We do have less HP than the enemy team. So, it isn't invincible, lads. It's just, it's, I just wanted to showcase the glitch, right? I just wanted to showcase the glitch. All right, so I'm editing this in because, listen, lads, <laughs> do not put Ruki on your team. If you're using Ruki, mess around for one or two games, but make sure you do not leave her on your team because the worst thing you can do to someone, and I'm, you know what, I don't care. I'm doing it. My Ruki is still on my team of the last ditch. So if you go against me, just know that if you beat me, you're going to be stuck there for five minutes. Not my fault. That's your fault. Ruki's in the middle. You know what you're going against if you choose to go against me. So, lads, just understand that. Avoid Ruki as like a plague until Caleb fix this because even if you do win, you're going to be stuck there for five minutes until the time's up and if you don't want to wait five minutes you have to quit the game and that counts as a loss so just a little warning for you lads right there just <laughs> make sure you avoid using rookie and make sure you avoid using me i'm in third seat and i am using rookie as a lead so yeah just just don't go against me <laughs> Uh, so going back into it, Drugum is basically back on the team. No more Kenny. Uh, we did actually change up the chat. We're now going with this. So again, a botch build. I don't know. Where I'm, I don't even. I don't even know what this. Again, a botch build. I don't even know what this video is anymore. I just wanted to showcase this funny Arukia's glit that's going on right now. And then, yeah, we're just getting him lost ditch links. Let's, get, let's just go back in and find another person to destroy it. Hopefully, we don't get destroyed in the process. So, we have a zero. Let's go... Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do three more games. And it's going to be against these three people right here. So, go from top to bottom. Let's just finish off. Let's use some orbs, right? End the video with a bang. Let's see if we can get some of these dubs right here, boys. So, who are we going against in the team? We have Drugum. We have a Chad and an Askin. A fairly common PvP team. Okay. Their Drugum is fully built with Nad. There goes the Rook here. They're all focusing on my Drugum. Drugum ain't dying. Chad has actually killed... Oh, no, wait. There we go. Chad is now stuck. So, it's free real, free real estate for my Tokinada. Unfortunately... In the case, I actually kind of... Ooh, hold on. <laughs> All right, it's actually worked for the good now. So they're focusing on the Rukia, and there we go. We won. We won because we used Thousand Year Blood with Rukia in our team. <laughs> All right, so Chad is going to probably... Yeah, Chad's going to tank it. We're not going to kill Chad. There's no... Oh, we actually might kill Chad. Okay, and we weakened. Okay, Chad's going down. Uh, and then now these lot are focusing... Okay, the Ezer is probably going to hit us. Is he going to hit us? Oh, there we go. We got it. Ezer using his Soul Bomb, though. And we died. <laughs> no! I can't restart the game. Oh, no! We're going to stuck here for five minutes, man. All right. All right, last game. Let's go against Mizushi. I know there is a lost person there with two times score. I'm going to ignore it for now. I had my fun with this this team, whatever this team is. I don't even know what this video is anymore, but let's see if we can beat it. So we're going against an Ichibei, a Drugum, and Noitora team. Again, another fairly common team. Ruka goes down. That's what we want to see. Then the Ichibei is focusing on the Tokinada. Ichibei is down. He is focusing on the middle Rukia. Well, that means Tokinada is now going to absolutely clear him up. Unfortunately, though, because our Drugum was still alive, uh, he, they, did, they did go for the Soul Bomb. But lucky for us, we actually do have a Tokinada Soul Bomb going off. And that means we absolutely slapped their team. That's what I'm talking about, lads. That's what I love to see. 
So there we go, lads. Rukia is a nasty character in PvP. And to end off there, we're going to basically battle some... Uh, I was about to say something inappropriate there. I hope I held myself back. There we go. And we're going to completely slap this team like we've been slapping for the last, like, five years. So there you go. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. Whatever this video was, I hope you found some enjoyment in it. I had fun recording it. So basically, the TLDW, even though I'm sending it at the end, I probably should have said it at the start. Rukia is glitched right now. If you have a last ditch on her, she isn't going to revive. She's just going to stay dead. But at the same time, she's also classed as being alive because the enemies are going to focus on her. So... Yeah, it's not that game breaking, even though I probably titled that in the video, but uh, she's she's a PvE character, so you shouldn't be bringing into PP anyway. But if you do, and if you do, and you have a last dish link on her, she's not going to revive. And I don't know when this is going to get patched, because it definitely will. As of me recording it, it's actually currently the 1st of January, so happy new year, lads. Uh, so maybe in the morning, when I actually upload the video later, it will be patched. And if it is, that's actually better, so it doesn't matter too much. But that being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.